basically if you find that your group has been compromised you can just in minutes go in and change the code you just do like this right here uh, reset the code and so I just reset the code no one else can join that group again assignments can be anything from uh, the, the kids can create any type of digital media that's what I love about it they can upload any type of digital media to this secure network whether it is um, a PowerPoint whether it is a Word document whether it is a um, a URL to a website that they created a blog that they created or an audio so podcast. you can put videos instructional videos in it moto for them you can embed those videos for them to watch just so okay and they can watch it right in the Edmodo. And so you see that the video starts on its own and they can watch the video. But the good I'm thing about it is the students always have this information to go back to. So they can watch, you can front load instruction. They watch it before they come to class or they watch it at the beginning of class for you to go on from there and, and uh, elaborate on it. Or if they didn't actually get it or they were absent or they need to go back and listen to that again because they weren't paying attention, they have it. It's right there on demand. So that's really, really good. Um, again, there are several digital formats that students can upload to. Here was a language review podcast. I split my students up into different groups and they uploaded um, they uploaded their uh, audio podcast and you can Hello, my name is Edwin Johnson and I'm Mrs. Dale and this is the second half of our podcast on identifying correct pronoun tape. Okay, so Edwin and I had to do that because he didn't have a partner. <laughs> we had an uneven number. And the students kind of gave each other constructive feedback on, let's try this one. All right. So the students did a little language review podcast and they split up all of the different reviews. Some of them did antecedents, some of them did noun forms, some of them did modifiers, so forth and so on. And they uploaded fragments and one ons So different groups did in different, and all of my classes were assigned to a different, uh, it's kind of like a digital form of the jigsaw. And everybody uploaded their podcast so you can listen to all of the podcasts on pronoun case. You know, and listen and look at how many times they got that information. Even they were just listening to hear how, if their friend sounded goofy or not, they got that information over and over and over again because they just want to listen and they're just listening to see how did they do on their podcast. comments. Um, this year I'm going to be a little bit more strategic in the constructive feedback from one another. Um, but again, you can closely modify and delete any comment that gets out of hand. Most of the time my students stay within in bounds. Every now and then you're going to get somebody. So for the most part, students have various, I mean they can upload, if they're, they're possibilities are endless how students can demonstrate what they've learned and they can upload it to your class at Moto for Network. their parents to see for you to see